Time to Paint Richard Aiken from the Resident Evil board game by Steamforge Games. Hello and welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be painting up Richard Aiken from the Resident Evil board game by Steamforge Games. Um, Richard is one of the members of Bravo team, and he is, unfortunately, uh, spoiler warning, um, killed off by a giant snake. Um, but he is actually one of my favourite, uh, uh, my preferred Bravo team members. So it is his turn now to be painted up. So um, before we get into that, um, he was um, primed um, using warm soapy water, scrubbed with a toothbrush to get any mould release agent off. Uh, and then he was um, undercoated with the spray Brain Matter Beige. And that is uh, from the Army Painter line. So without further ado, let's get into painting Richard Aiken. Our first step, as always, is starting off with his skin tone. So for this, we're going to use Cadian Flesh Tone. And uh, this model is one of the few, actually, that has um, quite a bit of injuries on him. So this is a good base for all his skin parts. Here I'm using a, um, a wet palette. Uh, by Army Painter and this is great for keeping your paints usable for longer. I do highly advise getting one um, because they do make your paints flow a lot better. So I will get this skin done and we will be back. The next we're going to go in with his t-shirt and that is we're going to go in with Fire Dragon Bright. This seems too bright to start off with, don't worry, we will be um, using shades to darken it down considerably. So, just start getting this on. Probably need two coats going over white here. So, I'll get this done and we will be back. Okay, so next step for Paul Richard here is Usha Tabi Bone. And this is going to be used on his bandages because he has been mauled by a large snake. Nice and simple, two bandages, one there and one there. And this is quite easy coverage here. I'll get that done and we will be back. Next up for his trousers, we're going to go in with Orc Flesh. It's quite a dark green, which is what we want for him. And don't worry too much about going on the pouches and stuff because they are going to be black. So I'll get this on and we will be back. Next we're going to go in with the messy desert and desert, and this is a great colour for um, the base for uh, blonde hair. So we're going to put it in, put over like that, and his hair is, is more sort of shaved, but you can still see some of the colour sort of around the back of the head, like so. I'll finish getting this done and we're back. Okay, next uh, we are going to go in with um, Black Legion. <clears throat> and this is going to be on uh, on all the all the pouches and straps and gloves and, and his shotgun as well. Because this is, a, this is the assault shotgun. Um, so this is more of a black shotgun. And then, yeah, the gloves the boots and then these the holster and then his belt and any pouches on him as well are going to be this color so there and there and then the buckle as well i'll get that done and we'll be back okay so now we're going to go in with uh, lead belcher and this is going to uh, be all the uh, metallics on so the shotgun so this bit here the barrel keep the pump bit as black this part of the barrel and then like this bit here and then around where the hand is that can be black and this is also going to be for any buckles so his belt buckle his leg buckle 
um, and also the back of his gloves. Like so. Right, I'll finish that and we'll be back. Okay, so that's how it's looking. Uh, now I'm going to take some time and go over it all again with the previous colours. Just tidying up any mistakes anywhere and um, seeing if any bits need a second coat. So just take your time on this stage. Um, yeah, just uh, making it look a bit a bit tidier. And then what you can do, we'll get onto the, uh, the shading. Okay, so he's been tidied up a bit. Um, doesn't, didn't take me too long. Uh, but yeah, when tidying up, just uh, yeah, take your time and do what you need to do. So uh, we're going to go into the shading phase of this uh, video. So for our shades, we're going to use a Reichland flesh shade, and this is going to be basically his entire top half. So it's going to be his um, uh, t-shirt, his skin, and his uh, hair. And as always, give your um, pot a good shake because we last thing we want is it all coming out almost uh, like shiny and glossy we don't want that remember just use a smaller brush here helps you uh, control where the paint is going because we don't want it pooling or leading leaving tide marks tide marks are caused when they're uh, when the paint dries and in strange positionings so we don't want any of that so I'll get this done on Richard and we'll be back. Okay, so as we're waiting for that to dry, I highly advise fully letting your paints dry between uh, between steps, but I am not a very patient person, so I'm gonna go in with Norn Oil next. And this is gonna be shading pretty much everything else. So we're gonna shade in his gun, his, uh, his trousers and his belts. So yeah, so this is for the weapon. Just be careful it doesn't you don't really need to shade the black areas just the silvery bits but if it goes onto the black it doesn't matter because it um it won't really show up which is nice so yeah i'll get this done on his trousers and we'll be back okay so that's all the shades dry um so i'm gonna go in as i usually do and start filling in the eyes so um for this i'm using the through and gray I won't do this on camera just because it's quite fiddly but if you do it at this stage um, it it's easier to correct because I used to do it at the end and then someone told me try to do it at the earlier stages because it can be corrected here so I'll do that and we'll be back so that's the white of his eyes done uh, for the pupils I'm going to use the black legion and again I'll do this off camera because it'll be easier okay so that's how the eyes have turned out not the best in the world but serviceable um next up we're going to go in with our original flesh which is kdm flesh tone and this is just to uh, uh get back some of that original color after the highlight uh, after so after the shading so we want this to cover probably about 90 percent of what was covered with the uh, wash with the shade just bringing it back I'll get her done and we'll be back. Next we're going to mix in a little bit of Kisla Flesh with the original colour. And this will uh, get a nice mid-tone. And again we're focusing more on the top side of the mini here. So if you just look down and paint what you can see. Like so. And finally, a little bit of later on flesh mixed in with, um, again, the previous step to get the final highlight for this. And again, top down. Aim at what you can see. The fingers, the thumb, some of the muscles. Like so. And then on the the face, you want to focus a little bit more on the face, the nose, the brow, the jawline, but not going too crazy. Like so, next up, we're going to go on back on with uh, Fire Dragon Bright, 
to bring back some of that that brightness for the uh, the orange. Like so aiming again for like the um the high points like the tops of the creases and the rounded bit of the shoulders like so next we're going to take avalanche sunset and mix it in with the fire dragon bright to get like a nice highlight and this is focused mainly towards his shoulders and any tops of the creases like so next up we're going to try his blonde hair so for this we're going to go in with the Ushatabi bone and this is going to be a very fine highlight the very top of the hair like so And then, very faintly, more dab than anything on the back of the hair where it's been shaved. Like so. And once we've got the Ushatabi bone out, we're going to use this to highlight the bandages around his arm. Like that. There we go. Okay, so uh, we're not quite finished with the bandages yet. I actually like to go in with a very light shade of Seraphim Sepia. And this is just to give it sort of a, um, a brownish tint to it, which is quite nice. Like so. Yeah, happy with that. Okay, so I'm actually quite happy with how the trousers look. Um, the good thing about contrast paints, um, they're designed to um, be almost like the highlight and the shade at the same time. So, yeah, it's nice and dark, and then the transition from dark to light is quite nice there. So I'll probably keep that as is. Um, so uh, we're going to go over onto the um, blacks. So for, that, for this, we're going to use Dark Reaper to start highlighting. And this is going to be on um, this is going to be on the all the blacks. So we use it on the curve of the boot, like so, and then the fingers of the gloves, the straight bits of uh, any pouches and holsters on the back of the boot. There, any lines and stuff. The curved bit on the back of the gun. And yeah, just anywhere you think light would hit. That's where we're going to go. And the final highlight for the blacks, we're going to go in with Thurin Grey. And we're going to mix this in with the um, Dark Reaper on our wet palette. Like so. And that's a nice highlight. And for this, we're just going to go back over what we've just previously done, but with even less. And this will really pick out the, the sharpest points. Do not go too overboard with this because otherwise it just looks a bit messy. But I'll finish getting this done and we will be back. Okay, so that is the um, blacks highlighted. Now that the CPU has dried on, on the bandage, we're just going to go in with Ushatabi Usha Bone. And just pick out the uh, tops again of that, just to get a nice highlight. Like so. Like that. And final highlight, the metallics. I'm going to go in with Blood Belcher. And yeah, don't need too much here. Just enough to bring back a little bit of the shine for these metallics.
Don't forget the belts and the buckles. Okay. Okay, and final bit we need for Richard uh, because he is taking a bit of uh, beating um, is we need blood for the blood god. We need a bit of sponge inside one of these um, paintbrush bristle um, protectors and a bit of a uh, bit of tissue paper to dab off the excess to get a bit on here. Dab it off and that's come out. Let's try that again. So a bit on our bit on our brush, well on our makeshift brush, and then just start dabbing. So we want a lot on this side of his arm because it's taken a one hell of a beating. Like so, and he's got a little bit on his face. Not too much, we just want a little bit on his face. Like so most of the blood needs to be on his on this arm. And that's easy enough to do. Right. So let's just keep going until you're happy. Again, you don't want to go too mad, but I'm happy with that. And there you have it, Richard Aiken with the rest of his Styles members. We're finally getting there. We've only got a couple more left. So if you would like to um, donate to my channel and uh, possibly get one of the two last stars members painted up ASAP. Please donate, yeah, and um, chuck in a request, and I'll um, paint it up ASAP. Uh, or if there's any other ones that you want painted, just let me know, and I'll yeah, I'll paint, get them painted up as soon as I can. Um, but thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in a future video. Thanks again, and happy painting.